Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Unranked 2 Challenger series. Today I'm going to explain my thought process in this game and how I completely destroyed this game. I had like 30 kills by the end of it, maybe 29, something like that. Something ridiculous. And let's get into it. Alright, so my first thought process, this game is like my laners and the jungle matchup. So I'm versing Karzix, it's a very scary matchup, pre-6. So I'm like... Okay, I don't want to interact with him. I want a place to not get invaded. So I'll show you how I don't get invaded this game, just in case he does opt to do that. Some people will, some people won't invade you, depending on how they value invading AU. Lots of people like to, so I'll show you how I like play around that. And I also probably bought this game because pathing top doesn't really amount to much, and pathing bot is much safer this game. Um, we can't really kill the Cho'Gath until we're both level 6, so that's how I think about that. So Pathling Boss is just going to be the safest, because I'll show you what I do when I get to red buff, and that makes it really hard to get invaded. But, um, yeah, bot's pretty volatile this game, so maybe we can look for a free kill there. We'll see what happens. But yeah, you'll see, Karthus can definitely invade you on the blue here, so I'll show you how I try to avoid that. So see here, I finished my well, raptors, I don't do red, I ward my bush here. So do this every time you start blue and you're scared of an invade on your red buff. You ward the red bush there and then you just do krugs and it'll make you very, very safe. Because there's no way to get invaded now. So just in case, if he comes to kill you on red, you, you have that warded there. So it's very, very safe and he won't die. So this just guarantees that you get your full clear off or at least you don't die. But, um, next thing we're going to do is, we know Karzix is part, he's not a bot if you go back and just see that he definitely got a leash bot, so he's pathing top, so it's kind of just a free reign for me over this bot lane here, so I can definitely just look for a kill if I can. I'm going to charm the Ezreal, see if I can just kill him really quick, but unfortunately I can't, so. He is out the different way I thought he would. I get a kill, I get the Talon, which is the shutdown, and then almost die there. I didn't expect Ezra to be so crazy, but yeah, we get out with a kill. Now we have a pretty decent back. We've got Sork Shoes in base. We're gonna base ASAP and keep our tempo high and run straight top side to where our Gromp is respawning because we want to keep our camp cycling on spawn so we can ensure that we're level 6 as fast as possible. That's my thought process regarding basing there. Like, we can't go for Scuttle there either because it'll waste a lot of time and Scuttle's not that worth, like, it's pretty low valuable these days. It used to be a lot better. But now it gives like no XP. So yeah. That's the way I sort of think about that. Um, we have Sork Shoes. And we can sort of fish for a gank on this Cho'Gath here. Because the wave is coming in. And the wave isn't actually going to crash. So he has to f walk up for another wave after this. Pretty smart by this Cho'Gath to uh, flash there over this wall. But uh... My Ari doesn't want to play, make this play happen, so she just comes late and then they're able to look on the Ari, which is actually quite unlucky that they got to kill my Ari there, so that sucks, but it's fine. We still denied Cho'Gath a wave or two. Now we get to just sneak some grubs here because Kha'Zix hasn't based yet and he's low health, so if he comes to contest this, he won't be able to do anything to me, so... Easy grubs for us to ensure that we get around level 5 before you do your full clear will amount you to get level 6 off your full clear. So this is really good to do grubs here. It slows down my tempo, but if I get all of this, then all my camps and I get level 6 after. So very nice uh, sequence ahead of us here. We'll get level 6 very simply. We're just chilling now, clearing our camps, getting our six, and then we're going to play the game, because that's when we're most strong, with our invisibility and our super broken ultimate. So what do we want to do with our ults, you might ask? And the, 
it is one to seven right now. Like I have the only kill in the game. So this game looks pretty doomed. I won't lie, but how are we going to carry this game with our ultimate? We have to be very careful and not wasting our ult. We have to be very clean with our ult. This game, we can't waste our ult for nothing, or we'll be denying ourselves our maximum snowball, which we don't want to do. So what will we do? Let's see. Enemy bot's been very aggressive, and my bot's behind, and they just got back from having kills, so now we can definitely just look for defending our bot on this dive. I mean, this wave, it's got a crash, so hovering our bot for this is very important, and enemy has a Talon. Talon doesn't have the greatest escape, so if he walks up, Maokai W's him. He has, probably has no flash, I'd assume. So you can just walk up, get a free kill there. We're gonna ult there, because I want to guarantee the kill, and we can just dive the... Ezreal very easily, knowing that there's no talent here. Makai does have flash, so... Pick up that kill very easily, very good. And now we have a double kill, we killed their bot. And now we're back in the game, boys, so... We're just gonna instantly base, our top camps are up, our ult's down, and we have so much money. So we wanna spend our money wait for our to come back up by clearing our camps and also get all of our camps off map so it just works all fluidly those three things work together so nice oops and then now yeah we just want to chill do our full clear our ult's gonna come back up and we're gonna be loving life we'll be so far ahead um yeah the trigath is up a bit other than Kha'Zix in my jungle, which I find a bit strange, so I'm a bit scared of this guy, possibly, but uh, no, nothing really ends up being very concerning here, so we're just making sure he's out of our jungle, and then we're going to go farm just in case he looks to cheese us or something. Now we're going to clear down. Go with the original plan. It was just a bit slower because Kha'Zix cheesed us like a weirdo. Yeah, so we're just chilling, getting our ult up, clearing, get our camps off map, use our ult, and then go from there, right? Chilling, 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 chilling. And we pick up a double kill, just like that. We're just being in the area, ready to use our ult. And now we're ready to kill this Ezreal with our W. We just have to wait for that. And watch how I play this. W. He is flash. So we E flash. That's a very important trick to learn, guys. You E flash when they have flash. So see how we flash? But I buffered my E before my own flash. So it goes off as soon as I flash. So even if he does flash, it, it's already buffered my E, so it's just going to follow his flash. So it's the unflashable combo. It's very overpowered. Make sure you're abusing that yourselves. Talent is top. It's quite strange. I do have a lot of money spent. I have my Lich Bane, so I do opt into going bot side here. I'm just going to do Krogs, get level 8, and then we can look for the one shot on the Ezreal now that we do have Lich Bane and he's not that far ahead. And we do have two levels on him after Krogs, so that's why I don't open top side here. I want to just play for this bot. Like, it's really easy kills, so I don't need my ult for the Ezreal. I have Lich Bane and he has no flash. And we pick up the kill there. Now it's time to do it again. We're going to look for this Ezreal. Between the turrets. Because we have ult coming up now. So, yeah. 
But we do see Kha'Zix coming, so we're going to look for the Kha'Zix. Talon just died, so it's a 3v2 on the bot side. Let's see if we can... This, tal this Kha'Zix is really low, and we have uh, Sork Shoes, Dark Seal Stacks, and Lich Bane, so we just one-shot that guy. We have Absolute Focus as well. A really quick kill. Now we're going to put ourselves in this bush, just in case he hugs the wall, and we can get into the one-shot like melee range. But now we can't go on the Ezreal yet, so we just have to um, go on the Talon, a much easier kill. And we ult backwards and get ourselves out there. That was a very nice combo. Now we get the bot turret. See, this is what you can do against where people that don't have flash, when they're playing way too aggressive, you just punish them. Now we're going to base, spend our money, clear our camps, wait for our ult to come back up and make a play. We're going to grab Medjoice here, I believe. Yep. Can't go wrong with Medjoice when you're 8 kills and 0 deaths. So we have 8 kills and there's 11 kills in the game. So it's all on us to carry this game, okay guys? So we got to play smart and not die if we can help it. My team does pretty good. Now we're level 9. We can look for something with Magi's and Lich Bane. I don't know what my team was fighting for. I have no ults. I don't really want to participate. Seeing if I can find a kill on the Ezreal here. And Malkai flashes on him. Sets up the kill nicely. I think he was dead anyway. Nice, pick up some easy kills and Medjai stacks and take the wave and now we're chilling, we have our ults up, we're in a great spot now. And we just clear, get level 10, there's nothing really to do, our supports and base, our mid lane is not on the wave yet and our Camille is fighting for no reason and has no ult so... We have to wait for Camille ult to play around her, and otherwise we just play for any sort of picks in the mid lane, but he does TP top, so it's not like we can, we have to just give objectives here, we can definitely fight this with our strong AM. Looking for the pick on the Talon here, if possible. Dodge the vision plant, luckily. Now we sneak into this bush to see if anyone face checks us, but then no one's here, so we just do the raptors really quick, and then it looks like they're going to go for dragon, and I don't want to fight without um a, a good setup. So we don't have setup, they have setup, so since we are able to just trade off, we just trade the top turret and we get rift herald, so I'm happy with this trade. We can't do dragon, though. we don't have setup, I don't have a flank. And they have Cho'Gath, and we don't have our top laner there, so we just trade. We're fine with this. It's not like, oh, my teammate's not coming to come Dragon. It's no, it's fine to trade. Like, you don't always have to go for the objective. See how we traded? Like, this is very important to know to do. Now we kill Ezreal here. Why do we kill him with our flash? Like our flash is very valuable, but it opens up the ability to get mid turret. And mid turret opens up a lot of picks. We get the Talon's flash there. Small wins is great. Ari kills the Talon. Now I'm looking for Huey, but I don't know where Huey is, so I can't really get a kill on that guy. I was looking for him, but he guess he TP'd mid or something. He like double TP'd mid, which I found was odd. I can't really look on Cho'Gath here. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious I do not damage that guy, so yeah. Um, we're just looking for a pick or maybe on this Talon here. Here I actually combo slow. If I just QER and don't go for the Q before I E, like I did two Qs, I just need an insta combo so we can't ult my E and cancel the animation so it doesn't deal damage. 
Uh, I'll just insta a one shot challenge there. So something to think about next time. My Camille one v nines in the side lane, so that guy's a beast, which we'll get lucky with. Now we don't have ult because we waste it. We didn't get a kill, which is a bit problematic. But um, luckily Camille, it's a double kill there. So I don't even know how that happens, but it did. I guess we just gap jungle so hard. Kazakh is just useless. Like we're two items up on that guy, so that's good. Well, once we spend our gold, we will be. There's nothing really to do, so I'm just trying to find a way to get to my next full item before my ult comes back up. So that's the way I sort of think about this part of the game. Like, when can I get my next item or power spike? And that's going to be next item, because we're already level 11, so we got to wait for that. And then we'll be chilling with our next ult. It'll be really easy to pick. Camille's really strong because she just got a triple kill, so I definitely want to play around her as much as I can now. We see Cho'Gath here. And then for some reason my Camille wants to fight the guy that we cannot kill. Pick up a quick kill there, and I wish run. See if we can fish for a kill on the Ezreal here. See if we hug this wall, we can get in melee range. But if I need, I just need to be more patient there, and I could definitely just find a kill on him there. I think. If I was a genius here, I would have eat the minions, so it does guaranteed e damage to Talon, and then just ult it out, and then. I would have killed Talon and gotten out, but unfortunately I didn't because I didn't think of that till later on. Because Talon was um very like different with how he approached the picks. He would just insta ult like I guess he's kind of smart for that, but like again like he doesn't get anything when he ults like that. So he is getting away with a few illegal things. It's just my fault, but um it's not the end of the world because we did killed the way there before and we did live so not like we entered or anything we're kind of just waiting for baron at this point because that's how going to be our way to get turrets and things so we're going to get picks and vision around baron and then look for the, the objective if we can Yeah, so we're just so far ahead. Um, they're looking for some play in the side lane. I don't know what that is. I show for no reason here. That's my bad. But um, I don't want to group. I want Camille to go side lane so we can sp trade the map because we don't want a five v five really. But like Trogath can't be here. He's like definitely disrespecting us. So we just one shot that guy. Now we get Dragon for free because they did misplay in their positioning. And we pick up a nice double kill. We ace them, or almost ace them, and now we got the Dragon and we are hard chilling now. Now we ping to get the dragon, or the baron, because they're all dead, so it should be a free baron if we all come. Push the midway before we go, I guess we just don't go baron. We don't go baron, unfortunately, because we didn't think about it, I guess, as a team, so that's all good. We wait for our next ult and look for another pick. With 13 and no, we definitely don't want to die. That'd be game losing, but I think I do die a few times this game, unfortunately. But um, we are definitely destroying this game, and what we want to do is just play around this Camille and side lane as much as possible. And that will be probably the best way for us to close out the game and then get turrets and then 
Look for pigs as they try to collapse on the Camille. Look for an easy kill on Hoi there. And then now we're just going to farm the camps because no one can really kill us now. We have flash and old, so we should be able to kill anyone that comes. See how they're all coming to us, and now we should be on the other side pushing, but it's low elo, so... It's like a diamond game, like they don't know to push the other side yet. See how I eat Cho'Gath, but the E-damage did damage to Talon, so... Uh, we were able to ult and put him in the threshold and just execute him very easily. Cho'Gath is out of position so we kill him like he's a tank but he's not that tanky well he is tanky but yeah got the kill on that guy and yeah i guess we just try to get turrets and inhibitors and close out this game i don't want to make this video too long so i'll probably end the video shortly but um here's a little bit of a vision trick you can do you can flash over they don't know i'm here and then i'm behind them what like they're like confused but um, yeah, I mean, on 15-0, it should be really easy to close this game out. And I think what I've said has been really, really valuable. So I hope you guys have learned something. Uh, subscribe if you have. Like and comment any questions. Uh, join the Discord for coaching. Or if you want to just ask me any sort of question, feel free. Alright, guys, I'm just going to end it there. I hope you learned something. Peace, peace, peace.